We've talked a little bit about female ejaculation here. What about male ejaculation when white goo comes out the tip of a penis? <coughs> Pre-ejaculation, premature, rapid retrograde, delayed, inhibited, bloody, painful, spontaneous ejaculation. I mean, usually what we're referring to is the ejection of semen from the body via the urethra in the penis. White goo out the tip. It's totally normal, here's how it happens. Penis gets stimulated, messages go to the brain. Ooh, then the brain responds, prepare the semen. Then the sperm made in the testes but stored in the vas deferens are squeezed into the urethra. Okay, you stay there. Getting on board, the seminal vesicles, prostate, and bulbourethral gland add fluids to the sperm, a brew of these ingredients. Two to five percent sperm, 65 to 75 percent of what I like to call keep it alive juice, like sperm food and protection, sugars, proteins, vitamins. 25 to 30 percent of these things, one percent galactose or jelly to help sperm travel. When the urethra is like, yeah, we've got a load building up here, the ballooning creates a sensation of inevitability, ejaculation will be happening. That's stage one, emission. Stage two, the expulsion stage is the point at which the brain sends orders to contract. Contract, contract with fluid, contract, 40% out, contract, contract, muscles in this region coordinating to force the semen out. Typically, the more contractions, the more fluid there is, but quantity of semen also varies for other reasons. Time since last ejaculation, age, condition of the prostate, and possibly the person smoking, eating, and exercising habits. Biosex males actually start ejaculating about this much fluid, one milliliter, and it's very viscous, thick. Scientifically, we'd say no liquefaction. It's how the body works for about a year. About two years into having ejaculations, they'll be here at about one teaspoon, a clearish white liquid that congeals, then resettles as a liquid. Just note, whether it shoots, sprays, or dribbles, and how much of it is produced are not markers of sexual prowess or masculinity or fertility, at least not medically. Though in many cultures, quite the opposite is believed. Ejaculation is thought to be a loss of sexual energy. Semen is sacred and must be shared with other members of the community. Some elders in Papua New Guinea feed their ejaculate to the next generation of men to pass on their power and masculinity. In Norway, a company synthesized ejaculate to sell for an anti-aging facial. Side note, in sexual slang, a facial is, quote, hot, sticky man juice spewed on someone's face, so this would be a real facial facial. What we know is that ejaculation is intended to deliver male genetic info to the female egg. The whole jizzing, splooging, busting a nut, and blowing a load, it's for the continuation of the species. If the fluid empties into the bladder rather than coming out, it's called a retrograde ejaculation. You'll know this is happening because there will be semen in your urine when you go to the bathroom later. There's also delayed ejaculation, which according to the Mayo Clinic, there's no specific time indicating a diagnosis of this ejaculation. The experience is probably delayed if the delay is causing distress or frustration, or having to stop sexual activity due to fatigue, physical irritation, loss of erection, or a partner's request. If the person is unable to ejaculate completely, that's an ejaculation. In contrast, when a person ejaculates at inopportune times, like when there isn't a tissue, it's called spontaneous ejaculation. This is common during sleep if there haven't been other outlets for ejaculation like sex or masturbation. So if you wake up with a wet spot on the sheets, which isn't from urine, then it's probably semen from a spontaneous ejaculation, also known as nocturnal emission. Totally normal, clean it up. Another type of ejaculation is premature, what I prefer to call rapid ejaculation, often defined as coming within a minute of penetration. About a third of males experience this in their life Time. super common. I'm gonna do a whole episode on it here. Not being able to control ejaculation can be emotionally painful. Ejaculation that is physically painful is called dis-ejaculation. The discomfort has been associated with hernia surgery, so do your research. Get the pain checked out by a urologist. Ejaculation is designed to feel good. Even if it's separated from orgasm, there's still pleasure in the release of fluids and pressure of the engorged penis. Stay curious. Pre-ejaculate is also a type of ejaculation, a droplet or two of clear fluid from the Cowper's gland sent out before the semen to neutralize any urine that passed through during last piss. There should not be sperm in this fluid unless it was picked up there from leftover last ejaculation, but HIV and pre-ejaculate, yes. 